Good day to you. We're here to talk about my new collection about movies called They Make Movies. Let me give you a good shot of that. They Make Movies. Uh, there are 60 to 80 stories in there about actors, actresses, directors, and even some uh, screenwriters. And the first story in the book, and I think it's my favorite story in the book, is about uh, a very talented and beautiful actress whom you may not have heard of. Her name was Anna May Wong, born in um, 1905 in Chinatown in downtown Los Angeles. Anna knew very early in life what she wanted to do, and she wanted to be an actress. She was dedicated and, and given her beauty and talent. She was able to get work and meaningful work in silent films. As, as a teenager and made some beautiful films, which I've seen, and you can see them on YouTube. And um, her problem was, though, at the time, people of different races could not kiss each other on screen. And as Anna Riley remarked, that rather limited my opportunities for romantic leads. So... Anyway, she moved into the talking era with everyone else. And had she been white, she probably would have moved right on into A pictures. Instead, she was in B motion pictures. And then she went over to Europe, and uh, where she met Marlena Dietrich, who will be dealt with in the next story, the great and, and also beautiful and charismatic Marlena. And there are rumors that they became quite good friends. Um, and then she, um, after doing some stage work with Laurence Olivier, and this by now is uh, in the early 30s, and undergoing some voice training, um, she, she brought back even more talent and technique to the U.S., but still could not get the roles that really she deserved. And um, she wanted to be in, in the, the movie called The Good Earth, which was um, projected to be a, a major hit. And not only did she not get the lead, she lost it. And, and she was playing an Asian woman, or, or the, the lead called for an Asian woman. And um, who did they hire? They hired an Austrian lady named Louise Rainier. Now that seems absurd today, but if you remember the Charlie Chan movies played by a, a white guy from Europe, Warner Oland, that was typical uh, of the time. So she never really got her opportunity and she moved on back into B-motion pictures. And um, she also had um, a drinking problem and a, a cigarette smoking problem and, and her health declined and um, she went several years without being in movies and and really just disappeared from the uh, the movie scene but because of her early work uh, she's not forgotten and her, her tragic story adds some poignancy to that so that's the first story in they make movies.